So here's an example of how uh, the uh, K180 cannot be the main antenna that I use. So here's uh, 9395, it's WRMI coming out of uh, Okeechobee, Florida. And um, so this is on the uh, MLA 30 right now. This is on the W6 LVP. Once again, MLA 30. And now, K180. So what you see here is that on that specific frequency, so you could see actually on the waterfall from about 93.30 and 93.40 up to 94.70, it's impossible or almost impossible to receive signals for a very simple reason. This is an FM station breakthrough. So if I put myself actually in wide FM and put myself larger you can actually hear the station so you see it's a mix of all sorts of things from an FM station locally here so uh, the uh, breakthrough is intense but if I go back to W6 LVP we get the station back. Same for the MLA 30. So I can't use the K180 as a main shortwave antenna because of the FM breakthrough, but where it receives shortwave, it seems to do it well. And so I'll kind of focus on that and focus on the VHF range at the same time. But it um, gives you an idea of how it's impossible for that thing to be, uh, you know, my main antenna. If we look here on 9455, that's WRMI. So you can still hear it when I'm on the uh, K180, but it has that breakthrough because it's just at the end of the breakthrough. But yet, if we tune 9500 here, there's a signal there. A little noisier, but that one would, you know, could make it. So this is kind of interesting test here to uh, see, but uh, K180, unfortunately, in some parts of the spectrum works, but uh, can't be my main antenna, that's for sure. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.